While members of 24 Hour Fitness could get refunds, the gym is accused of misleading their customers, changing fees, and then not letting them know about it. Kick and I, Stacey Butler, is live in Costa Mesa right now with the details on this settlement. Stacey. Jeff, it's the biggest fitness club in the United States. Now the Orange County District Attorney says 24-hour fitness misled its customers and will have to pay. 24-hour fitness, I think, is the biggest gym in, that I know of. Yeah, it's, uh, it's too bad. Tonight, those who work out at 24-hour fitness are shocked. The gym with 400 locations will have to pay $1.3 million and restitution after the Orange County District Attorney found the gym misled members by promising lifetime memberships at one rate, then changing the price. You cannot make a misleading statement in order to induce someone to enter into a contract. Orange County District Attorney Michelle Cipolletti says some of the club's employees promised to lock in lifetime memberships offered between two 2006 and 2009 with money down at fixed low rates, even though the contract actually said the rates could change. When members complained or went to small claims court, it turned into a he said, she said, and they either left the gym or in some cases paid up to 300% more per year. But in a public prosecution, Orange County and Contra Costa County, where 24-Hour Fitness is headquartered, joined forces, and they got members who say they were misled their money back and the lifetime rate they say they were promised. It's a great outcome because we did locate some ex-employees and figured out what happened in this in the, in these cases, and. Um, and 24 hour did, you know, they were receptive to hearing about what happened. Kind of a difficult situation where you're told one thing, but the gym say another. But at least they're honoring it and they are going back to their word. And 24 hour, hour Fitness has agreed to the payout. I'd left several messages uh, during business hours. I didn't hear back from the company. Now, I'm told that all the members who either lost their memberships or overpaid, they're going to be sent instructions in the mail and they can just fill out the forms and submit their claims. That's the latest from Costa Mesa. Jeff and Elsa, back to you.